So based on the recent commentary from Fed Chairman Powell, it's quite evident that interest rates will rise in the short term. We've seen sharp increase in short-term borrowing rates and long-term borrowing rates. That is national news at this point. So it's called for us in our field to be creative with different loan programs. Again, bringing it back to always making sure our clients are out shopping for real estate that they're comfortable with. It doesn't mean you have to wait and see what happens because you could be waiting months, you could be waiting a year. You never know when rates will come down and if they will come down. In the financial markets, history tends to repeat itself, but there's no guarantee of when rates will come down and if they will come down. We're confident they will, but we don't know when that will be. So there are ways to be creative, to keep our clients comfortable explaining different loan programs, but also understanding that there is opportunity to refinance. You know, history tends to repeat itself, like I said. Uh, the data shows the average loan lifespan tends to be seven to 10 years. But again, no one can guarantee that. So keeping that in mind, many of our clients have asked, is there a limitation of when we can refinance or how many times we can refinance? And the answer is no. If there's a benefit of refinancing, we will let you know. But you have to make sure there is a net tangible benefit to refinance. And it is risky to bank on refinancing. We want to make sure that if our clients close on a mortgage, the payment that they're closing with is something that's not going to keep them up at night with the understanding that there could be great opportunity to reduce that payment in the future. But because we can't predict the future in financial markets, we cannot bank on that. But we do know, again, that there is a good possibility of revisiting that loan in the future to then maximize and benefit your cash flow positions.